Hey, Shalom, my friends. We come back to Hashem. Jim is learning, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Chachadash. <clears throat> Want to give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS. Uh, Shalom, I'm out there to the hopeful that Krishna is truth and not sincerity. Uh, back again with another video, and uh, you know I, I finished um, work this morning, and I saw the uh, the newspapers, the tabloids. Uh, you know, as I was, I was as I was leaving work, and um, <laughs> he had on the front page. Uh, obviously, this um, uh, Israel uh, Gaza conflict, Palestine conflict, right? And it had on on the front of the paper, "Hell on Earth," right? <laughs> and and obviously, you know, this this was uh, concerning the the, the rocket, uh, not the rocket, the, the attacks that Israel, you know, retaliated on 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 the Gaza Strip, right? And now they're just leveling everything right now, right? They're just <laughs> destroying the shit out of it. Civilians alike, you know, they don't care, uh, you know, because these men are these men are animals. The Hamas are animals, and you know they they all need to be destroyed, you know. Because that's the rhetoric that they're talking right now. They they're dehumanizing what they, what it is that they're doing, because you know that here because they're supposed to be <laughs> right because their man got got uh, got you know bloodied up and that uh, festivals and whatever. You know, Esau is not about the the moral high ground. Let's let's just be real about it. He's not about what's fair. You know, he doesn't hold to his own standards that he you know he push, pushes out there to the rest of the world. He he, he retaliate with with, uh, with with you know <laughs> worse consequences, man. He he will drop to all kinds of laws. He'll break all kind of rules and legislations that you know he's supposed to believe in, or right, just to get his get back. <laughs> so you know, really, he 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 uh, he. Uh, um, he uh, demonstrates the spirit of Cain, right? Which is what I'm going to get into. But, um, but yeah, you know, <laughs> so yeah, they're, they're blowing up the, the Gaza Strip right now, you know, and they don't care who's there, right? Blowing up all kinds of buildings and people and children and whatever, right? They don't care about them, you know. As far as they can say, oh, we, we got we got hurt, so we're going to hurt them, you know. They don't have no uh, moral high ground or nothing. So, but anyway. It, the paper says hell on, hell on earth, man. And this is what you guys are creating, man. You're meant to be the chosen people, right? That's what you're supposed to be. That's, how, that's why you're in the land of Israel, right? Because you're supposed to be the children of Israel, right? The Lord's people, right? Because the only premise, you know, the only, the only, you know, thing that's, you know, that, support, that has you in that land is you saying that you are the children of Israel and that land is rightfully yours. That's the only that's the only premise it's under because you you know is you know these are well the Israelites have ne haven't lived in that land for a long time and that's why it's full with with you know Arabs and and whatnot right but you know we you, you got moved there in, in uh, 1948 1947 or whatever it was right 1949 and um you know claiming that that place was your rightful home. You know, and the only place in, in the world that would ever confirm that is the Bible, that it belongs to the Israelites. And so you're 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 staying there on on uh on the, on the pretense that the Bible is real. Right? That you believe in the Bible, right? Which you don't, but you know, that's another matter. But you know, you're there because of that. And the world has had to accept that because they've put you in that land as the children of Israel, okay, which is a, a complete lie. Right, you're not the children of Israel because, as the as the chosen people of Israel, the chosen people of God, okay, what's going on in in in, in the country right now would not be happening. <laughs> would not be happening. Right, you are creating hell on earth because you are the devil, man. Right, you you Edomites, that's what you, that's who you really are. You Amalekites, right? You you're Edomites, right? You're creating hell on earth. Right, and yes, you you know you supposedly got attacked, you know which you know the, the whole everything surrounding that is dubious, but yes, you got attacked. Um, oh shit, what's the point I was gonna make? Oh fuck, it's gone from my mind. You know, you, you know you've been attacked, man. But you know, oh that's it. But you're the you're the big guy in in this thing, man. You're the you're the big guy. Gaza is some, some tiny little little strip of land that you got some Palestinians living in in, in ghettos. You got them living in ghettos, right? And you cut off all the electricity, all the water, 
everything from them, right? And you got all the big guns, you got all the weapons. Like these Hamas got a couple of rockets and, and things like that, a couple of guns. But you got whole air forces and all kinds of missiles. You know, you're you're the big guy playing victim. Right? You know, and you're justifying what happened to you and a few men in your country to 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 bring Whole, all kinds of hell upon them people man all the, you know which we don't care you know we don't care you know they shouldn't be there anyway <laughs> but, but um we you know we you're drawing in america you know you know getting them to to you know provide you ammunitions and coming through with uh, aircraft carriers you know you're calling out iran like you, you're <laughs> you're doing too much man <laughs> you know you you you're hardly a victim in this thing because you, like, you you're talking like this is some sort of battle that you shouldn't win, that you you're at some sort of odds, but you're you're the big guy in this fight, you know against them little guys, man. <laughs> you know you sit there posturing like oh oh no they hurt so bad, you know, but again you're creating hell on earth, man, and that's the the British papers writing about that. Right, so uh, the world knows that this 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 place is, is mad, right? And what you're doing is mad, um, you know. And you're creating hell on earth, man. So let me start here. Proverbs twenty nine verse two says, "When the righteous are in authority, okay, you're meant to be the righteous, supposedly, right? The people rejoice. The people ain't rejoicing out here, man. Ain't nobody rejoicing out here. Everybody's in mourning right now. It was like, oh my god, what what are they doing?" <laughs> What are they doing? <laughs> you know? Because, you know, your retaliation is mad. Obviously, like, you know. It says, uh, but when, when the wicked bear for the people mourn, right? And that, that article, that tabloid, that title on the newspaper is a sign of mourning. Because who wants hell on earth, man? And you're bringing hell on earth. You know? You're bringing hell on earth, man. You're yeah, not for the first time. All right, and that's and that just another sign to show you, man, that these men are not the chosen people of the Lord. All right, this is Genesis 27, verse 40. And by thy sword, this is Esau, by the way. This is Esau's blessing. But like I said, you're the big guy in this fight. You got all the weapons and all, you know, all the top notch military equipment and all that kind of shit. You got the numbers. You, like, you have every advantage. <laughs> you have every advantage in this fight. And yet, you know, you still you're talking like you're you're you're, you're like, like the underdog. Oh, you know, the Hamas are trying to destroy us. But you got you you got you got powerful allies too. You got you got you know the US and that you you are far from the underdog in this fight. Far 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 from the underdog, right? It says uh, by thy sword shalt thou live, right? The first thing you turn to, man. I ain't heard I ain't heard one speech from Netanyahu yet about Most High God. You know, you, you know, you might call him. They, they might call him Yahweh. I ain't heard no names being being mentioned. Not even Hashem. I not even heard nothing from their mouths concerning the Most High about oh, you know, <laughs> you know, you know about the Lord coming to protect. No, it's all about uh, um, the U.S. It's all about oh, our our response and you know their animals. So we're gonna put them down militarily, or we're gonna call a draft. All these things. That's what we're hearing. The sword. They're talking about their sword. Their capability of, of killing, right? Oh, we've got the Iron Dome and, you know, all of this. That's what you guys have been talking about. I ain't heard one, one word about God since this whole thing started. You know? They turn to their sword when shit goes down, man. They ain't looking, to, they ain't looking for no God. You know? This is Esau, Right? And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shalt serve thy brother, okay, who is Jacob, okay, who are, who are the Israelites, right? And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his rope from off thy neck, right? So, you know, that's how things have played out. He's 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 got the power right now. He's in dominion. He's he's got the rulership right now, and he you know he wields his sword like, you know, like it's going out of fashion, man. <laughs> you know, that's what he turns to. That's what he trusts in. He trusts in his sword. Right, he trusts in the fact that he can put people to death. Right, and this is Genesis chapter four, and like I said, he came, he, he comes in the spirit of Cain. Right, not in the spirit of the Israelites. Right, so Genesis chapter four, verse fifteen, and the Lord saith unto him, okay, because Esau is spiritually Cain. 
reincarnation, right? That's what, that's what these Edomites are, right? The Lord said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slave Cain, right? Whosoever slave me, right? Slave Cain or his people or any of them, right? Vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And that's what these, these men are planning to do right now, right? They're planning to put, put hurt, hurt and hell on, on these Palestinians, man. Even though, you know, it's, it's just it's a terrorist cell of us, right? But they don't care. Palestinians can get it too, man. They all live in the same place. Just fucking bomb the shit out of it, man. <laughs> Kill everybody. Fuck it. That's what these men are on right now, right? And so they, 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 they'll look up to tally up a, 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 a far greater number than, than those of them that were killed. That's for damn sure, man. They're looking to do her, right? And then, and then Yahoo, Yahoo's talking all smoky, man. It, you know, <laughs> you know, like I said, he's calling them animals, bro. So, it, you know, they're not going to have no remorse on them, man. Right? They're, they're looking to get, to, you know, to get blood. You know? And he's saying, oh, uh, this this war, because he's calling it a war, right? And it really, it's, just, it's like the war on terror. It's like it never ends, right? But it's supposed to be against those men, those those terrorist cells, isn't it? Just that minute, you know. That's what made it has made it so difficult for them to get you know outed out and shit. But these men don't even care. Like, nah, we're just gonna bomb the shit out of Gaza. All of them, like, they're just and they're not even gonna give no warnings to to the civilians or nothing. They're just gonna blow the shit out of it, right? To the animals, right? Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, come back to me, right? It says, therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold, right? And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any find finding him should uh, should kill him, right? So, uh, you know, you you know, you you you're taking vengeance for yourself, and you're gonna take it sevenfold, man. So that's the, that's the spirit, you know, that's the spirit you guys have in you, man. Like I said, I ain't heard you call on the Most High or nothing, you know. All the, it's all about what you're going to do. That you're going to make sure they, they regret it utterly, completely. Right? And we're going to take out Iran because Iran must be behind it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you're, you're, man, you're looking for smoke, man. Yeah, you're looking to, to bring great death into the world. That's what you're doing, man. Right? It's Revelation chapter 6, verse 4. It said, and they went out another horse that was red. Okay, red represents Esau because Edom is red. Edom means red. I don't want. Right, and then went out another horse that was red. So this is represents Esau, and power was given to him. Right, and you know we mentioned that he has the dominion, so power has been given to him. Right, and the, the reason why he's, he has this power, or you know, has the ability to stay in power, is because of, of of his sword. Right, and the great destructive power that he holds. Right, his military is no joke. He, they have weapons of mass destruction. As I like to put it, right? They are plenty. Right? And that's how they keep their power in these different regions over over these different nations. Okay, Hamas have got some stupid rocket things that couldn't even hit a fucking target, you know, a mile away. You know what I mean? It's just these men got laser guided this and that and you know, they got all, all types of things, man. You know. They got the power to destroy it, man, right? So Power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth, right? Again, it's hell. They bring hell on earth, man. Okay, they take peace from the earth. But the children of Israel are meant to be establishing peace. And this is the messed up thing. Like, you're doing the complete opposite of what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> right? And it's, it's, as we say, it's because you ain't, you ain't the people, man. You ain't the people. All right, like I said, you got the US backing you, the world's greatest, the, the great, world's greatest army backing you. You know, you got Europe backing you. You know the military, you know the military, of Europe, NATO, because America's head of NATO. Right, you got the world's most powerful armies backing you, and like, like I said, man, you're acting like you're the small guy in this fight, and you want the world to believe that you're the small guy, that you're the one that's under under the cosh. Yeah, you got attacked, but you've been dismantling these Palestinians' lives since you got there, <laughs> since you were put in the land, right? It's, it's what you've been doing. So you, you've been the bully in that in that region, you know, always crying victim all the damn time, you know? 
But you want the world to, you know, it's part, like I said, it's part of the elite's gender, right? So they, they, they want to drag the world, at least the flock should draw them out. You know, we went through this yesterday. The bros are going, going over it, right? You want to drag other people in this fight to go fight Iran. And that's what's, 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 what's going to happen eventually, right? The least of the thought shall draw the map, man. And, and the armies of the world will be draw, brought down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, right? Where the Lord is going to slay. The Lord is going to slay. You're going to use both sides to slay each other, man, to destroy each other in an innumerable amount of death, right? And that's hope, I hope that's exactly directly where this leads from, you know? I hope it's now. I hope this is the time. I hope this is the moment that brings around that that prophecy, man. You know. But as I say we're looking to get we're we're looking to get our land back. We're looking to go home. Right? And you heathens are, are, are obstacles, man, that need to be gotten rid of. Okay? The Lord is gonna get rid of you. That's why he's gonna draw you down into World War Three. Right? Into the valley of Jehoshaphat and destroy you all, man. Um, let me finish this off. This is um, actually, <clears throat> Let me grab this. this is from um mm. not this one. Let me just put it in. Oh, effect. The Joel chapter 3, verse 2. I will, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, and I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and part in my land. I'm going to jump into verse 12 here. So let the heathen be, be wakened. Let me jump. In verse 9, right? It says, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war. Right? The, the, the Most High is causing these nations to prepare for war. That's why they're spending every, you know, more and more money on their military, man. And, and making alliances, right? It says, um, Wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pronging hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Right? They're all rebelling against Esau's reign. Right? Because like I said, they're in mourning underneath him. Assemble yourselves, to get, uh, to, to assemble yourselves and come, all you heathen. Gather yourselves to give a round about. Typical thy mighty ones to come down, O oh Lord. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come get you down for the press is full. The fats overflow for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Right? I'll jump down to verse 19 here. Egypt shall be a desolation and Eden shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah because they had shed innocent blood in their land. Right? So you, you know, you, you know, as you're being judged, man, and all the worlds, you know, all the heathen are being judged. All the world's armies are going to come down and be judged. All right? And I said this this may be the catalyst to, to bring that you know about. All right? Uh, we're just quickly back here finishing this off. This is Revelation uh, 6 and 4. Saying that, and they went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth. And that they should give, kill one another. Right? That's it. Hell on earth. They, they're just out of war. They're bringing, they bring war into the earth. You know, talking about, oh, we didn't start this war, but we're going to finish it. Israel will win. Uh, I got a news flash for you, man. 
Ain't nobody gonna win in World War Three, man. All of you are gonna be destroyed. Right? The only only winners in this whole thing are the children of Israel. Okay, which you ain't them, and we ain't we ain't gonna be fighting no war. <laughs> we ain't gonna be in World War Three, right? The Israelites are not gonna be in World War Three, man. We ain't gonna be fighting for you. We ain't gonna be fighting for nobody, right? We're gonna let you destroy each other, man. And when the Lord returns, man, then we're gonna fuck you up, right? Because this earth is going to become the Lord's, man. And by proxy, it's going to become, you know, the Israelites. Okay? And we're going to rule upon the earth. Okay? Ain't going to be none of these nations that you've seen right now. All right? So that they should kill one another. And it was given unto him a great sword. Esau has that great sword, man. He has that, that, that nuclear capability, man. That destructive power. That, you know, these other nations, well, most of these other nations don't have. Right, these Hamas man ain't got nothing like that. They have to go hijack something, you know, like uh, uh, that broken broken arrow or some shit. You know, they're gonna have to steal one to 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 um, you know, to have it, you know, have anything like that. You know, um, is Isaiah one verse seven? Your country. This is talking about the land of Israel. Uh, talking to the Israelites. It said your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land. Strangers devour it in your presence, right? Like I said, the children of Israel are not in the land of Israel right now. Okay, ruling, right? And some of our people are there, man, but they're just serfs, man. Okay, they they serve the Edomite regime that's there, right? Strangers, heathens, own our land, run our land, have dominion over our land. And that's what you're seeing right now. You're seeing two heathen nations fighting one another over land that doesn't belong to them. All right? It's something that we're observing. We're observing the nations or these heathens, you know, in our land, defiling it, right? Fighting in it, burning it. That's something we're witnessing, right? So your country is desolate and your cities are burned with fire. Your land, strangers devour it in your presence. And it is desolate as overthrown by strangers. Okay, it's overthrown by strangers. All right. And this is Isaiah 2, verse 2. Saying, it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the tops of the mountains. And shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. All right. Again. You do not fit the prophecies of the children of Israel returning to the land of Israel. Right? There's nothing there's been nothing but war, there's been nothing but fighting and mourning and all kinds of wickedness in the land of Israel since your um a point appointment to enter that land. Alright? The children of Israel are meant to bring peace upon the earth. Okay, the children of Israel are meant to bring wisdom and knowledge to the earth. Right? To all peoples of the earth. Right? And yes, you know, we'll admit, could we tell you straight, right? For the first thousand years, you're going to pay for your transgressions, man. You're going to pay for your wickedness. Okay? But that will be happening. You know, we're going to put your nation down before we get into that land, and we're going to have your servants for a thousand years. Right? You guys ain't on talking all of that stuff, so we can just skip that for the moment. But the moment the you, you you know you went into that land, there should have been peace. <laughs> there should, you shouldn't be fighting nobody. Okay, but you fought and fought and fought since you've been there. The Lord has not blessed you, man, because you were not the Lord's. You know, and that's just what it is. And we're waiting for the Lord to kick you all out. Right, we're waiting for the turn, return of yeah, I wish I had to get rid of all of you. Because the day is coming. Alright. Um, and many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, right? So, like I said, you meant we're meant to be like a, a bastion, a, a monument to the world of for wisdom and knowledge and understanding, promoting the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shire to the world. That all on the earth follow it, follow our ways, follow our laws. Okay, that is not what you're doing, man. That is not what you're doing. 
Gay likes it, you're doing the complete opposite. You know? But, the, you know, a, a great lie has been told in the earth, man, and, and the people are fooled by it. Okay, deceptions of, of Satan, of the devil, of these Edomites. Okay, because that's what they're here to do. They're here to deceive the whole earth, like the scriptures say. Right? And this is one of the great deceptions that's been told that the people, you know, just blindly follow. You know? Uh, this is a... Uh, Verse 4. Oh, did I finish this off? And he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for the out of Zion shall go forth the law, right? The law, our law, the law of these, of these scriptures, is going to be a universal standard. A universal standard, man. It ain't going to be no Sharia law. It ain't going to be no British law. It ain't going to be no American law or, or constitution or anything like that. Right? These things are not going to exist anymore. They give you know, international law, you know, human rights laws and all this kind of stuff. There's only going to be the law. Okay, which is the law or the law of the scriptures of the Heavenly Father. That is the only law that's going to be established throughout the whole earth. And everyone's going to have to abide by that. Everyone's going to follow that. Right? And pay the consequences for those who don't. Okay? Judge by the law. Judge righteously. Right? But you are not establishing that. You, you people in the land of Israel today are not establishing that. Okay, like I said, you're not establishing peace. You're not establishing any type of wisdom. Only folly. You know? You're not a, you're not a fulfillment of these scriptures. All right? And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. All these men want to do is fight you. <laughs> all they want to do is fight you, and all you want to do is fight. So, like I said, man, you ain't the Israelites, according to the scriptures. And you're going to be ousted just with the rest, just like the rest of these heathens are going to be ousted out of that land. You know, you, you lot are going to mutually destroy each other in the time to come. Yeah, when World War III is, is brought upon the world Because like I said All you're doing is bringing hell upon earth Right And there's nothing but more in, in this place Alright So you know With that I'm going to end there I think that's all the points I wanted to make And um, yeah man I'll catch you brothers and sisters in the next video So till next time Shalom